Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying two different kinds of chips that were sent to us from Eric in Texas. I have the, uh, these are both 7-Eleven. We do not have a 7-Eleven in our area of Kentucky. Uh, they might have them somewhere in Kentucky, but just, yeah. I have never been in one in my life. Oh, really? No. They used to have one over near Luxton Mall. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I've ever mm. been in one. Uh, I have the buffalo chicken dip flavored wavy potato chips. And I have spicy guacamole, then tortilla chips. So let's try yours first, the tortilla chips. Because I think the buffalo chicken is going to be pretty strong. Um, these are... Um, one ounce. It's two and a half servings. One ounce or about eight chips are 140 pounds. Mr. McGee. If I squint one eye and get to If you right. don't know who Mr. Magoo is, type his name in on um, YouTube. YouTube. I'm sure there's cartoons in Mr. Magoo. Oh, yeah. Mr. Magoo's got tons of the cartoons. Uh, these are made, uh, they're distributed in Dallas, Texas. Mm. I don't use a light guacamole. Mm -mm. Be prepared. Because it's some spicy chips. I like these. They have a little hint of the lime in them almost. I love that. That They're is hot, so though. good. They're hot. They're very good because I like a good salty chip. These that is salty. so good. And yeah, I'm not a guacamole. What's the main ingredient? Uh, avocado. We're not avocado eaters. And I think it's because mm. when, and I think it's what you grow up on. Mm. I really think it has a lot to do with what your parents give you as a child. I never in my life have had an avocado until probably a couple of years ago. I don't ago. think I saw an avocado when no, I was growing up. No, truly. You just, people around here that I know that we knew did not eat them and we didn't eat them. I don't so, think guacamole was a big thing when we were growing up either. Mm -mm. No. I, don't, I never went to a restaurant and, and, and had anybody like ever G -G's. order guacamole. Right. <laughs> Those are really good, but they are a little spicy though. I love that. They're, um, that they're, is awesome. They're, they're definitely got some spice to them. Garlic powder, it just says spices. It really doesn't say what. Uh, but you know, you get the the nice tortilla chip <laughs> itself, but then you definitely get that spice. I could eat that entire bag though. That is very, and it's two and a half servings. Two and a half servings. I'll have to divide that up. That is very, that's excellent. I would buy those all the time. Uh, these are buffalo chicken dip, uh, wavy potato chips. They are um, two and a half servings in the bag. One ounce is 150 calories. Um, I do think it's funny. It says partially produced with genetic engineering. <laughs> I guess they. So have they genetically to engineer probably the potatoes to make them bigger. Uh -huh. I had to guess. Yeah, I don't know if they have said that or not. And these are a different color. Mm. They're a buffalo, buffalo uh, sauce color. It says it has hot sauce in them. No. Cayenne, red peppers, vinegar, mm -hmm. which yeah, you can tell it really has, tastes of vinegar. It has lots of vinegar. Honestly, that's all it really tastes. I get more vinegar than anything yeah, out of that. Um, but I like them. But different sauces are based on different things in different parts of the country. So, well. We might have a really um, a spicy sauce that's not vinegar based. They may base theirs on vinegar, like a vinegar sauce. I don't know. That's true. Our buffalo chicken is uh, well, it's based on hot. It's sauce. just hot sauce, but it's hot has, sauce. I don't think it has a lot of vinegar in it. No. This just happens to have a vinegary flavor to it. Yeah, you'll have to let us know. Um, They're good though. In Texas, Eric or or whoever is watching this in Texas or in the southern states, if your uh, buffalo chicken is more vinegar than anything else because truly that's what you taste Very the good. winner for me though is these i love these could eat I, these I could take anytime both yeah these i would awesome. eat either one of them they're both really good mm -hmm. so thank you so much for sending them to us mm -hmm. um like i said we don't have a 7-eleven around here so it's really cool um and other people have mentioned different um little like gas station type things like 7-eleven to me and they've uh it's like why don't you try this from here and i'm like i've never even heard of these places it's they're very popular in your area 
but I've never heard right. of them. So it's just a, it's just a regional thing. So if you can get a hold of these and you like spices, I definitely yeah, try, try those because yeah. those are good. And these are more vinegar. If you like vinegary type chips, get these. Yeah, um, and I'll take a picture of them for you. Why not? I wasn't going to, but since they do look different, I'll take a picture for you. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much, Eric, and thanks for watching.